Hi everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. How are you today? It is Monday, December 4th, 2017, and people, <laughs> the stocks across the board are at new record highs. And I know for a fact that this is not a surprise to any one of you that are following this blog. I mean, please, you have to give credit where credit's due, and I've been explaining this to you. I've been, uh, it, it's just not going to stop, and this is what I have been explaining to you. However, however, people, I want to bring these two things behind me, these two topics to your attention, because you're not going to hear this from the mainstream channels. I mean, there's just no way. Okay, I don't know how many of you are old enough to have lived through the dot-com bubble. I know many of you. Uh, probably are old enough to have lived through the last 2008 meltdown. Now, I remember both of these things uh, as if they happened yesterday. That's frankly how old I am. Now, it's the same thing. The number one, I guess, sign that is flashing in our face has got to be this yield curve. That is the difference between the, the, the uh, short end of the curve and the long end of the curve, the spread between the yields. Now, <laughs> we're right there. We are right there, meaning that we've seen this before. The spread right now is exactly the same as it was during the top of both of those bubbles, the 2008 bubble and the one before that, which was the dot-com bubble. Now remember, I'm talking about the spread here, the difference between yields. Now, what else is exactly the same? The freaking euphoria. I mean, really, how many of you remember the hype at the, in 2008? Stocks marching higher, everything is doing great, the housing is you know going up, and then all of a sudden, bam. It's always the same story, and we had the same thing at the top of the dot-com bubble. Now, I'm not saying, for the trolls out here that, are, that look for every syllable I say to pounce on, that we're going to melt down today or tomorrow. I did explain to you, I think in the last video that I did, that you got to be cautious right here. Now, I'm, I'm looking at these markets. I'm thinking about what I am going to do here. Uh, as of right now, all of you know, Friday, I closed all of my positions. I have not entered anything just yet. I am watching this euphoria uh, occur. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything today in this market. I might just sit back and watch and, and just wait. I'm not really sure. Speaking of that, let's talk about Bitcoin real quick because I cannot tell you Again, uh, the, the questions about Bitcoin that I am I'm getting here now, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to outline this for you right here and right now. I've been explaining to you how I have played Bitcoin, and frankly, <laughs> if you followed along with what I was saying during the time, you are much richer today than you were uh, when I first started talking about it. Now, I am not done trading Bitcoin by a long shot or holding Bitcoin. Uh, I'm going to be buying this again soon. I'm waiting for one thing and one thing to happen before I jump in here. That is a 10% drop from where we are right now. It's coming. Believe me, it's coming. It might even happen today. I don't know. If Bitcoin drops 10% from where it is right now, which is around 11.2, 11.3, I am going to buy some more. I am going to wait for that moment. I would suggest get Bitcoin on your radar and you can watch this right on my website. I set it up for you dead center of the page underneath where I post my blogs, traderschoice.net, go check it out. Once this hits, uh, drops 10% from where we are right now, the guy you're looking at is going to be buying more Bitcoin. I'm just waiting for that to happen and that's it. So now I've cleared that up, you should be doing the same thing. Follow the price action of Bitcoin. Wait for a 10% drop. I know a lot of you are going to say, no, you shouldn't wait. Look, you play it your way and I'll play it mine. 
I've done phenomenally well with this, so uh, I'll stick to my plan. Thank you very much. So, you know, you could take advantage of that as well. Let's talk about the bond market today. Again, right on my website, traderschoice.net, underneath the chat room, there's a chart of the total bond market. Bonds are selling off today. What do we know uh, is not going to continue? I guess at one point it's, it's going to break, but probably not right now. The bond market is selling off. Watch for this to turn around. Again, you can watch it right on my website and you can laugh just like I do. I have it open right here. <laughs> so right now I have my eye clearly and sharply on Bitcoin. I want to see a 10% drop from where we are now. It's coming. Believe me, it's coming. And we're going to get in on that 10% drop from right now. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Um, bond market. You know how I feel about it. Forget about what the stock market is doing. It's the bond market that's, that's going to give us all the clues that we need. We know what's going to happen here. Um, they're going to try to prop this up at one point, but we're watching for simultaneous sell-off between with bonds selling off and the stock market. That's going to tell us that this whole mechanism has broken. And again, how I started off this video, pay attention to this, people. The, the yield curve is screaming at us right now. And the spread between the short, the short bond and the long bond there is exactly like it was at the top of both prior bubbles. And remember, I'm talking about the spread. I know there's a lot of people here that are going to say, oh, well, the rates were much different. Yeah, they were much different, but pay attention to what I'm saying. I'm talking about the spread here. Got it? I want to clear that up because I don't want to get a, a thousand trolls talking about this. So it's the spread here that we're looking at for the final time. And the euphoria is exactly the same. I'm not saying that we're going to melt down tomorrow, but we need to be cautious here despite the fact that this Dow Jones Industrial Average is up like 1% right now. I don't care. I don't care. You know that. So uh, with regard to the market, I'm watching the market. In fact, I'm watching everything right now. I'm waiting. I have my cash ready. I got my finger close to the trigger, but I'm not going to pull it until I see a few things fall into place. And this is how you should be playing this in this guy's opinion here. And you have to admit, I've been nailing this entire thing really to the wall. All right, with that said, let's see how this plays out throughout the day. All of these things, uh, you know exactly what we should, we should be looking for regarding uh, Bitcoin, regarding the bond market, regarding the stock market itself. And um, we're going to beat this like you have no idea, people. We are going to crush this and destroy this. And we're going to be very happy in the process because I'm not going to let these bankers win. They will not beat you or me because I am the Robin Hood of Wall Street. I'll see you later uh, at the summation right after the market close. Over and out.